What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today I'm making a video I didn't think I'd ever make again. There's another lock screen bypass in the latest version of iOS 9. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to destroy your relationship by finding out that your girlfriend is cheating on you. <laughs> Not really, but I will be showing you how to quickly bypass the lock screen on the latest final version of iOS 9 using a 30 second trick that allows you to get into contact information and photos. Again, within 30 seconds, you can have this information at your fingertips. And this isn't limited to just iPhones. This works on iPads and iPods as well, as long as those are signed into iMessage. Otherwise, the only requirement is that you must have Siri enabled from the lock screen. So in this video, I'll be showing you the bug, but not only that, I'll be showing you how to protect yourselves from other people creeping on your photos and contact information. And this bug wasn't found by me, actually by a legendary YouTuber. He's very small, but he finds the craziest bugs, and I'll have a link for his video down below in the description. It just baffles me. iOS 9 is supposedly the most secure iOS ever and yet we're still finding little bugs that allow us to get past the lock screen and whether or not it's a four or six digit passcode it doesn't matter you can still get into the photos and contacts on any device on the final version of iOS 9 so let me go ahead and jump into this and show you what I'm talking about all right so I just wanted to show you guys this bug on my iPhone 6 plus and there has been a very similar lock screen bypass on a beta version of iOS 9 which has since been fixed this is on the final version just to show you guys 9.0 final build version all right so from the lock screen it does not matter if you have a four or six digit passcode or if you have touch ID enabled, it works either way. Now iOS 9 changed the way that it restricts your device and we actually have to restrict your device in order to get this to work. And I'm gonna show you guys, so pay attention, timing is key here. So you have five attempts now instead of six for iOS 8. So we're gonna put in four incorrect attempts into the passcode. And for the fifth, you wanna fill it up all the way except for one. So if you have six, go five ways and then hold the home button to activate Siri and we're gonna immediately click the last one in. And if you did it correctly, Siri will activate but your device is actually disabled in the background. So now we're gonna go ahead and ask Siri, Siri, what time is it? It's 12.57 p.m. Okay, so you're gonna click on the clock icon and it will take you to the clock application. And this whole time, your device is actually restricted in the background. Click on the little plus and just type in any random amount of letters. You know, I'll double tap on the letter, go to share and uh, message. So all iPhones will have message here by default. However, on iPads and iPods, you actually have to be signed into iMessage, but most people are. Anyways, go ahead and click on it and this will pop up. So in here, in the to section, go ahead and type any random uh, amount of letters, hit return, and now you should have this green or blue link right here. So double tap on it and we'll get inside of it. And this is it. Go ahead and select create new contact and boom, you guys have now accessed their photos. So this is the entire photo library of the device. Everything from iCloud to actually local photos will be located right here. So this is crazy guys. I mean, it was hard for me to believe how simple this was to do. This works on all devices. I'll show you on the iPad as well, how simple it is to do. But anyways, besides this, you can actually access contacts as well. So to search for a contact, all you guys have to do is go through all of the letters individually and I actually have my personal contacts in here so I will blur them but basically you guys will find every contact down here and you guys can go ahead and find an individual one so I'm gonna click on this one right here and you can double click on that contact and it'll take you to the card where it'll show you your email, your number, everything for this guy. So this is it guys, that's how you get into the photos and the contacts on any device. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you on my iPad, but can you believe how simple it is? Just to show you once more real quick, I'm just gonna you know, go back to the lock screen. All right, so unlock it, lock it. It's as simple as this. So remember, put in four incorrect attempts and on the fifth, go into all of them except one click home, and then one character. What time is it? So it's 1 PM. ask Siri what time it is, click on the clock, and then go into the plus right here. You know, up here, type in any random amount of letters, double tap on that word, share, message, and uh, again, any amount of words, return, and then double tap on that guy right there. You'll get into here, create new contact, and within 30 seconds, you guys now have access to the photos and to the contact information. So I can't believe how simple it is. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my iPad right here. i show you guys it's just as possible on iPads and iPods as well. So again, I'm gonna put in four incorrect attempts and fill this in all the way, and then 
Siri, what time is it? It's 1 p.m. Go into the clock app. And we're going to add a new clock right here. So it's a little bit reorganized, but same principle, you know. So uh, double tap on this word, share, message. The same screen will come up. So just put in any random amount of numbers or letters. Double tap, keep double tapping on it. Eventually you'll get inside. Uh, I don't know why this one is a little bit difficult. And there we go. So in here, again, you can create the new contact, add the photo, and uh, from your photo library, you'll be able to choose all the photos. So just like that, you guys are now into the private information, such as contacts or photos on both iPod, iPad, and iPhone. So uh, girlfriends be like, yeah, he's cheating on me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so just wanted to show you guys now to protect yourselves. It's very simple. All you guys need to do is to go into your device and then go into the settings. So I want you guys to go into your touch ID and passcode settings. And in here, I want you guys to disable Siri on the lock screen. So this way you won't have Siri functionality, but until Apple fixes this, you know, you will be protected. People won't be able to see your photos and contact information. And this is a really big deal, guys. I mean, Apple usually fixes this stuff right away, but it leaves me with the question, will Apple release 9.0? 0.1 to fix this faster or will they wait until November to release iOS 9.1? Most likely we're going to be seeing 9.0.1 here very soon with a fix for this and many stability issues in tow. So here I am running 9.1 on my 4S and real quick I just want to test to see if this works. Same method, share, message, and um, looks to be working so far. Any random amount of letters, return, double click on it and create new contact, oops, come on. Create new contact, and yeah, wow. So same principle. Now uh, you can get into the photos on 9.1, and just to show you guys, I am running 9.1, and uh, it is disabled in the background, hold on. And there it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in here to show you guys I am on 9.1. And as you guys can see, there you go. 9.1 works on all devices. I have tested this on more than just the 4S. And actually, if you get into the clock, it'll be right where you were at last time before it closed. So it's it's crazy, guys. I cannot believe this works on the latest version of iOS 9. Apple has been so prudent about it being the best security update ever. And here are these lock screen bypasses again. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope I helped you guys prevent this from happening on your devices. You know, protect yourselves until Apple releases 9.0.1 or 9.1, hopefully 9.0.1 sooner so uh, this can be fixed. But, you know, stuff like this amuses me, guys. I love bypasses. I love showing Apple that their system isn't impenetrable. There will always be bugs or ways in, especially when it comes to jailbreaks. But have a great day, guys. Protect yourselves. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.